Hi, I'm Christy Nicholson, and this is The Dirt on Green. Hi, it's Nikki from Jasper. A lot of gas stations advertise ethanol gas as being a better alternative for the environment. Is it really? Okay, it's become increasingly clear that we need to free ourselves from oil, both for economic and environmental reasons. And some people believe that ethanol is the answer. It's a renewable fuel made from wheat or sugarcane, but most of the ethanol in North America is made using corn. And according to reports, corn-based ethanol delivers 34% more energy than is used to go into making it. That sounds pretty good, right? Uh, not really. We need a lot more than that. More like a 500% return. Here's the dirt. Ethanol has been a windfall for U.S. and Canadian farmers, so most of the arguments on its side are actually motivated by serious money. Ethanol made from corn is actually considered to be worse now than fossil fuels in terms of carbon dioxide emissions. Here's why. If you convert corn for food into corn for ethanol, growers elsewhere are going to have to grow more corn to make up the gap. And that leads to clear-cutting more rainforests. Because rainforests sequester so much carbon, it may take centuries for the ethanol to pay back that carbon debt that comes from clear-cutting. This issue is known as indirect land use emissions. Still, the push for ethanol remains. Why? Well, the hope is for the next generation of biofuels, and these will be fuels made by the inedible parts of plants. That's wood, stalks, grasses, and they're otherwise known as cellulosic biomass. But there's a problem. Scientists need to figure out how to make enzymes to turn these weeds into fuel, and to do it in an economically feasible way. If this grassling ever becomes a reality, then ethanol might make sense. But for now, corn-based ethanol is essentially racking up long-term carbon dioxide emissions and robbing the neediest countries of food. Think about that as the world population rockets toward 9 billion.